So this is running now at 250 milliamps, which is way higher than uh, it should be running. And you get a dot about that bright, which I wouldn't recommend it, but you could probably look right at it. Um, but anyways, what I was working on was to see if I could get a beam that was straight uh, rather than uh, the really wide one, which you probably can't even see right here. Oh, yeah, you can. Okay. That's the beam coming out of it. Um, and it goes pretty much all the way across the room. But, well, when, the, when, the, when it's not burnt out. Um, so here I used one magnifying glass to focus it, hopefully to the focal point of the original um, reed head. Uh, and then coming out of that should be, unless I bumped it, anyways, a little tiny beam that was relatively parallel. Uh, I guess I bumped it. There we go. Okay. Okay. So it definitely gets a little bit wider the further it goes, but not much. So it seems like it would work. So we have a much smaller beam coming out of this system than going into the system. Uh, so then the idea would be that hopefully it doesn't have to be perfectly focused on whatever surface it is trying to etch, uh, because then you could be farther away from it. And I imagine with some turn screws and a little bit of better calibration than this wonky setup, it would probably uh, actually be feasible. So, it's a little bit large, but it could, could work.